People with diabetes should learn how to calculate their carbohydrate intake because in the long run, it'll give them independence and the ability to choose from a wider variety of foods. Learning how to count your carb intake precisely can give you more accurate control over your glucose readings. Being as precise as possible with your carb intake and medication will help you to manage your blood glucose level after every meal, especially if you take mealtime insulin. This way, you'll be able to easily decide how many carbs you want to eat in a meal, rather than eating a certain amount of carbohydrates even if you don't want to. Most of the carbohydrates we eat come in the following food groups. Starch, fruit, vegetables, and milk. To make carb counting easier, you can always check the food product labels. Find the total carbohydrate number listed on each package's Nutrition Facts panel. Check the serving size and confirm the amount you can eat. And then repeat these steps with each ingredient and add up all the grams of carbs. Subtract the dietary fiber amount from the total carbs amount because it's not digestible and it doesn't increase blood sugar levels. Always stay within your recommended carb intake and meal budget. Now fresh foods are usually unlabeled and you might have to guess the number of carbs they have. To make this simple, Keep in mind that each serving of fruit, milk, or starch has about 15 grams of carbs. You can always eat more veggies, because two to three servings of vegetables would be equal to just 15 grams of carbs. Remember that your insulin dose may change depending on the number of carbs you consume, and the difference between your target blood sugar level and your actual reading. You should know your insulin to carbohydrate ratio, or the number of carbs that one unit of insulin will cover. Usually, one unit of fast-acting insulin covers 12 to 15 grams of carbohydrates. However, keep in mind that your body may also become more sensitive to insulin changes throughout the day. Discuss your treatment plan with your doctor in case it has to be adjusted.